Sagittarius, welcome into your reading with me, Deborah. We are going to be allowing your spiritual team, your spirit guides, to choose the decks that they want to use with you today. So I'm going to be using my pendulum over here. I'm going to lay out all the decks on the table, and we're going to choose three different decks for you. In these decks, there is a message specifically designed just for you. Every single zodiac sign has their own set of decks, so will you. So let's get into the choosing. Sagittarius, so let's find out which one one of these decks your spirit guides want to choose for you today which one of these decks has a special message for you we are going to be giving or giving them a chance to choose three different decks um, it may have to do with one situation that they want to talk about or even two or three different ones depending on what comes up in your reading let's have a look and see it's so relaxed your your pendulum flow is so relaxed so we've got your fairy oracle being showing up here for you there's a message from the fairies so let's have a look and see second deck please spirit guides where are we going i love it when the pendulum swings in such a way like this it's quite interesting let's see where are we going with regards to your second deck abundance angels okay Let's see, you've got quite a different uh, bunch of uh, cards, decks compared to everybody else. So, unique as usual, Sagittarius. The last deck, please. Which deck would you like to choose for my Sagittarians out there? Which one of these decks has a message for Sagittarius? It's between these three on the side here, okay? Sacred Traveler. There you go. There we are. So your three decks have been chosen. Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Saggy, your decks have been chosen. The first deck that they have chosen for you is the Fairy Oracle. The second deck, which is also, I think, one of the rarer decks that got chosen this week, is the Abundance Angels, okay? And the last deck out for you is the sacred traveler so i feel like there is something going on here with regards to possibly i feel as if with the fairy oracle there could be something dream that you're working on or a situation that you're hoping may unfold in your favor abundance let's see what's going on with that is it good is it bad sadly let's have a look and the oracle where shows where um or what is next coming in into your life so let's get into this for you sagittarius what card is the first card out for you and remember it's always during the reading i'll be zooming in and out on the cards for you just so that you can have an idea one of the cards flipped out so let's see what that is your wish is granted what you have asked for is coming true okay so i did sort of like feel as if you were hoping for something or having a dream or wishing for something to take place here so whatever it is that you have been waiting to happen waiting to occur in your life i feel like it is going to be coming true for you let's get out the second deck the oracle the abundance angel oracle okay so let's get in here and have a look and see what other message is coming out for you i feel like you're going to have a goal that's been reached i'm hearing spirit guide also mention confirmation okay that card slid i wish you could have seen that okay positivity faith and optimism mm. you open a do the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations i do feel as if you're expecting something i really do hey um and your energy do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on keep the faith and keep going your wish is granted what you have asked for is coming true. I feel there is something you're really working on really hard here, but you're not yet seeing it the way you want to see it. And you may be asking or yourself, is this actually going to be happening for me? So I do feel like this is almost a confirmation reading for you. We're going to see that card flipped. Okay. We have got miracles. Miracles this is good okay expect the wonders to emerge no i think you're you're not expecting um this to happen or you believe you may have i, I got this feeling like there's a weird feeling that i'm getting from you sadly i feel it's almost as if you you know something is meant for you you know you're meant to be doing something you you can picture very clearly 
how it is going to be for you, but you're not seeing it. I do feel like you are being positive. I do feel like you have this energy of having the faith, having the optimism, having the positivity, but it's not showing up, you know, and you've literally got a wish is granted and miracles. So there is definitely a situation that is coming in here that, you know, I feel like you're expecting it to come in, but because you're not seeing it, it is really hard for you to keep the faith sometimes, okay? So I'm very, very curious. Let's get in here. I'm going to zoom in on the tarot cards for you and the oracle cards that I've laid out on the table so that you can have a look and see how they did fall out in your reading. I am very, very curious, um, Sagittarius, what is this dream? What is going on in your energy? And two cards have fallen and um, exactly what is going to be occurring for you here okay so the two cards that did fall wow i love it so much you have got a knight of swords very fa fast moving energy the devil card hmm, holy moly six of pentacles that is so awesome the two of wands next to that we've got the justice card the world whoa the queen of swords that is your reading. The Three of Pentacles. The Empress. Seven of Wands. The Lover's card. And the Sun card. Oh, Sagittarius. <sighs> you know, you don't know. As I was putting the cards down, I was getting this like confirmation coming in over and over and over again from your spiritual team. Just saying yes, 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 yes to every one of the cards that I took out. And I feel like this is a confirmation reading for you. If you're in this reading, you definitely feel as if you're doing the right thing. You definitely feel as if you're meant to be doing something and you can... S no, you don't even feel... You don't even see the success, you know. You feel it. <laughs> you can smell it. You can sense it all around you it's as if it is already existing but you just don't hold it in your hand as of yet so you're really not sure it's just an amazing reading Sagi. the knight of swords comes in here this is how you are feeling you are heading towards something you are determined you know that you're meant to be going in that direction and you are going um you you've got so much drive in this energy you've been doing what you're meant to be doing wow sadly you got capricorn coming in your reading the devil card okay um devil card is motivation it depends on what comes after the devil card because sometimes it can be really good and sometimes it can be not so good it just depends on the other cards that lay out on the table with regards to this reading this devil card is amazing it is inspiring, it is motivation, it's drive, it's passion, it's something greater than yourself that is calling you. It is also known as the card of the multi-million air. I named that, okay, I'm just saying, because my spirit guide always goes, oh, money, 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 when I see this card, this is a life of abundance, okay, this is the home of your dreams, it's been offered like that, okay. Because your energy is going in the direction it's meant to be going. You are on the right path. You haven't made any mistakes. Your journey, everything that you are currently doing, it's what you have meant to be doing. Okay, you're in a, the a right alignment. You are maybe at this point in time, you may be getting the results in some kind of way because of the Six of Pentacles being here. It's almost an indication as if, like I said, you can see what can be coming. You can, maybe you have been receiving something for what you have been doing. But this, oh, this is about to increase. Okay, this is about to increase. I just hear spirit guide saying drastically, prepare yourself. You know, I feel like this is going to be a bit shocking for you. There is a change coming. And I, I, I'm just, I, I've got to tell you what I'm picking up on here. I feel like I got a, like a sh quick, like, like image of somebody 
sailing on a boat okay and it's a sailboat and they really are going quite quite fast it's not like they're going slow they're actually moving and they are moving into a specific direction they know where they're going they know what they want but there is this moment and i'm holding the moment here in my hand that an event takes place and it's like a storm is coming but the storm is not working against you it's working for you and it just comes and it just pushes the sails faster than you've ever seen it before and it pushes you to your to the to where you need to be going quicker than you've seen it before and it's like it's you don't expect it you you're not expecting this i'm telling you you've got justice coming up here so this is another little message coming in somebody out there if you do have anything happening i think i picked it up once or twice with sagittarius um maybe over the past like month or two for some of you guys out there if there is anything legal that is happening in your life we've got Libra coming in here, it will unfold in your favor. I've been picking this up on and off, so maybe there's a few of my people out there, hi guys, who are maybe dealing with something at the, in their career or in their life that is legal. Oh, it will be in your favor, so don't feel stressed about that. There is also an energetic shift here that is taking place together with the Two of Wands, okay? It's going to begin to accelerate your growth and your your movement towards what it is you were trying to create so your world card is talking about your goals and your dreams and that is what you keep on holding on to i feel as if you are picturing the way you are going to be living in this world the kind of lifestyle that you're going to be having it does involve something that you are doing okay a career or something that is very passionate to you something that you love i can see um this energy and you know there may be times that you're wondering am i on the right path have i done the right thing is this meant for me yes it is truly meant for you okay this is truly and utterly meant for you you are going to get your life to where you want it to be i, I will just tell you sagittarius to be honest with you okay um dream bigger oh my god now is the time whatever you're thinking don't settle for less okay at this moment from the energy that i'm picking up on from all the cards that are laying on the table from the cards that i'm still gonna take out um don't underestimate yourself okay uh if you're thinking to yourself you know i just want to be able to pay all my bills buy a nice car have a home to live in dream bigger dream bigger and um, be like you know i'm gonna buy that mansion okay i'm gonna have two three cars if you that's what you want and understand this um don't feel guilty about having don't feel guilty don't have this mindset of this is coming back to the positivity the faith and the optimism okay do not let old belief systems where money is the root of all evil okay money is not the root of all evil people are the root of all evil okay not money right um there are people out there who receive money who do unbelievably amazing things and there are people out there who have no money who do really bad things so you see where we're going money is not you know the people who have money they want you to believe money is bad so that they can keep the money for themselves okay money is a way that you can live in your life to be able to express yourself the way that you want to be it enables you to be able to create the home that you wish to be in to travel in the world and see things that you would love to see it enables you to create your life it is not greed it is about creation one more time so money is not like the root of all evil or um, something that is uh, going to make you to become somebody that you're not. No, it is going to be able, it's about creation. For instance, if you are an artist, okay, and you want to create artwork, where are you going to get the money to buy the paints that you need and the brushes that you need and the canvases that you need? You see, so it's about the creation of your world. It's a gift. It's energy, okay? So look at this. I love this so much. Sagittarius. Look at these, the combination of these two. 
is like my favorite combination ever because the queen of swords energy see, is looking at what is in this card and what is in this card okay she's looking at that she's figuring out how is she gonna get herself here and she's not only thinking with her energy with her thought about how i can get myself to where i need to be i, I think you're so driven to whatever this is i feel as if you're you're dreaming about your work <laughs> i feel as if you can wake up in the morning and you literally dream about what you're going to be doing today maybe a project that you're working on you literally dream about your work you know um wow you know and you wake up with that motivation and you're like i'm going i'm going i'm going even though sometimes you don't see the results of what you're doing or you don't see or so you may be seeing results but it's not where you want it to be um this is where you don't give up this is where you keep going because when people kind of like don't see the results of something that they're doing, they can give up and they go, oh, this is just not working. I'm just going to go work at McDonald's, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know, and I'm just going to give up and I'll just leave my dream and don't do that. The people who get to those places, when we look at them and we're like, oh my God, how did you get there? How did you do that? How did you do this? They went through moments where there was no evidence of them being successful and um, they went through times when there was nothing happening okay and what did they do they kept on going um i'll give you an example like with my youtube channel um yeah there was times when it got really really busy and there were times when it was like Ugh. you get like 20 views on a video and you're just like hello you know what's going on you know and it's part of the journey. And one thing you need to know is that you need to set your mind on one one path. You cannot have like two different options. It's like, yeah, you may have two options. Okay, don't do that. Especially if you're really, really determined to create the life that you want to have. You have a dream. So when I like st when I started the YouTube channel, um, I never had option A and option B. Okay, I just decided that this is what I will now be doing from now on. This is going to be it. I'm not going to um, think of any either other idea. I'm going to do tarot reading now full time and not part time. And um, yeah, that's going to be my life. And even when it's good and it's bad or it's upside down and it's going and it's not going and it's tiring and you're, you're not feeling like it, this is just what I do. So there is only one road that I'm going to be traveling, and it is this one. So it must work. There is no option B, option A, option B. There is only option A. So if you put that in your mind with regards to whatever you are doing, you will be successful. Even if you fail and you don't come right, and there are times that things are not working out for you, if it's always just the one road that you're on, you will make progress and you will get to where you need to be as long as you don't come off the road and give up you see it's very important i'm i'm telling you all of the people who have been successful in anything have faced failure a thousand times don't think you know you look maybe on social media you look at people who are working doing whatever they're doing okay maybe they're in your niche it's what you you what you're trying to do and you look at them and go oh my god they're so lucky how did they get it right they didn't get it right okay they fail repeatedly over and over again and what did they do they only had this one reality so they kept on doing what they were doing they kept on adjusting and changing but the path they did not come off it and that's how they got there any one of these people, you can go to any business owner, I promise you, and go and speak to them and be like, so how did you get to be so successful? They're going to tell you, oh, I went bankrupt three times. Here I am. I'm still doing it because this is what I do. So I'll do it again. You see, that is a trick because you can create the life of your dreams. Your, your, you know, your world, your world, it's, it's in you to do this. And if you're wondering, um, will you make money? Yes, you will. There is something here in this card here. Um, 
and it lies inside of you to do what you're doing it's what you're meant to be doing and i'll show you why um what i'll tell you here is uh, i just want to talk about this quickly there is some kind of uh contract that you're going to be signing here um or an increase in money what you need to know is the the path that you're on, the choices and decisions that you've made here with regards to what you're trying to build, you will get paid for this. You will receive money for what you're doing and not just any kind of money. I, on, I also feel um, for some of you guys, you may be buying a new home with the Three of Pentacles coming in here. I just got that vision of this new home. So got it for you. Excuse me, guys. Um, there's also contracts here as well, uh, paperwork that you're signing that is also going to be increasing the flow of income for you. You may even have more than one stream of income here. Okay, so you may have different sources of income. So crazy. Um, if you're wondering if this is meant for you, yes, it is. The lovers card. This is your path. Um, yes, it could be love coming in as well. Sagi, yeah, why not? We've got Gemini coming in here for you. Um, there could be love coming in for you. Uh, I feel there is. If you are single, yes, there will be love for you. But not in the exact moment that I'm doing this reading. Please understand. Your focus right now is on this. It is on this miracle that is entering into your life. And remember, a miracle is something major. It's not just like, hey, you know, wow, I wished upon a, I, you know, a star and I, I managed to, you know, I don't know, get a promotion. No, this is like you own the company kind of miracle. You give the promotion. <laughs> you know, this is big. This is a very big energy. You are in alignment for that. You're on the right path with the lover's card. This is meant for you, especially because above it lies the empress. What you're doing, you're always meant to be doing. What you're doing lies inside of you and it's going to come out of you. And you're going to be building something here that is going to be like a miracle. Many, many people are going to be shocked. Sagi, hmm. got goosebumps. You got your sun card coming in here. Yes, you will be shining. That's what, I, that's what came up. But as soon as I was about to pick it up, they were like, oh, people are going to be shocked. And I was just like, what? Oh, Sagi. Hmm. Friends, family, just everybody that knows you, everybody, even people that don't know you, but they know you, like maybe your neighbor over there, you know, they're like, oh, there's that, there's that person. Oh my God, they're going to be shocked. People are going to be shocked at your success. Your family, distant family members, all of a sudden they're going to want to be your best friends, you know what I mean? Nah. If they're not friends with you now, they shouldn't be friends with you then either, you know. I feel like people are going to be celebrating and others that you have in your family. Maybe you have children, your husband, your your wife, your family, your mom, your dad, your sisters, whatever, brothers, you know, close family relatives. I feel like they're going to be so much benefiting from your energy. One of the things I always pick up with Sagittarius is that you're so generous. When you have, you're always giving, you know. That's why I give only to those who are now with you. Don't give to those who come running in after the success has happened. Those are just users, you know what I mean? Um, so they, these, there are certain people that have been with you like through thick and thin who are encouraging you, who are trying to help you. They're going to benefit from this as well. Um, you might even have some kind of real fame here or recognition that comes in from what you're doing. You've become well known. I feel like, to be honest, really Sagittarius, whoa. I don't think you, you know. Like in 10 years from now, you are not going to know. You're going to look back and just be like, people are going to be like, you, you don't believe, you won't know. <laughs> this person, you know, now they're driving like a Lamborghini, you know, they're living in a mansion, flying around the world. It's going to be like mind blowing. Um, just, it's just mind blowing what is coming in. Do not, do not stop. Do not doubt. Please keep going. You have no idea where this is taking you. <sighs> Unbelievable. Sagittarius, and you will be fine. You're going to be fine. As long as you keep on doing what you're meant to be doing, as long as you keep on focusing on what you're supposed to be focusing on, do not let the negative thoughts come in here and take you away from what you're trying to focus on, on what you're trying to create in that meditation state. Do not let any negative thoughts, any negative 
people speaking to you or events that happen in the world prevent you from aiming at what you're trying to do because as long as you keep your head about you and you keep doing the right thing you're gonna be more than fine Sadji. Huh. i really wish you all the best of luck i i feel like this is really soon this year i feel like the success is gonna start you know i keep feeling the storm you know but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad storm that breaks everything. It's a storm that's going to make everything grow so abundantly for you. It's like the drought is over, you know. It's just going to be coming. And as I'm speaking, it's actually raining. And not heavily, just like nicely. So I'm telling you, it's like you're going to have this, uh, this, this, this storm that comes in. And it's going to rattle you. And when the storm goes out, you're just going to see growth taking place like you never dreamed and um keep on going please it is so close there we go saggy you're reading um hit the thumbs up button if it does resonate with you thank you so much uh if you do wish to subscribe to the channel do not forget to turn on the notification bell and if you do subscribe I'm truly an honored or greatly honored that you do thank you so much it means a lot to me if you are subscribed I'm sending my love to you as I always do bye